Hi, everybody, and welcome back to In the Kitchen. And I'm doing good. Have another sip of wine. Come to Hudson County Community College for courses that transfer to four-year schools and provide credentials for in-demand careers. They're the newest technologies and facilities anywhere and caring professors and staff to help me succeed. A great education and full campus life. All for a fraction of the cost of most four-year schools. Hudson County Community College. Close to home. Affordable. High quality. Life-changing. Register now. Before we start cooking, I just would like to point out, we are all going through the coronavirus. And I would just like to point out for everyone to please be careful. Remember to wash your hands with lots of soap for at least 20 seconds, okay? I use Lysol around the house. If you go out, make sure that it is for a reason that you need products for your dinner for the family, for yourself. But do not just say, I'm going out, I wanna to go to the movies where they're closed, et cetera, et cetera, okay? I know hand sanitizer these days is hard to find, so is alcohol, but this is what we did here at home. I bought myself one of these. This is a glass, this is glass um, Tupperware. What I did was, and it's very, very simple, it replaces the sanitizer. Right here, as you can see, I have um, the baby wipes. I cut them in half and this has two compartments. So I put some here and some here. I added water and I added alcohol. Try and get the alcohol 70% or more, or if you get it over 90%, that is good as well. And what happens when you pour it, when I poured it in here, I turn it over them both over and add a little bit more water and alcohol and then when i go in the street i take a couple of these put it in a small sandwich bag and stick it in my pocket because you know that it's hard these days to get hand sanitizers as such okay so this will work for you it's working for us here at home so why don't you um you can try it in the meantime, let's get started. What I'm going to create today, it's going to be, what would you think if I told you I had tomatillo and serrano peppers, okay? That means burritos. I'm making burritos today as well as, mm -hmm, what do you think? Let me see if you can guess. But right now, we're gonna make the tomatillo. Now, the tomatillo, it's green. It has like casing on it, just like a, I would say uh, a pepper. Not, I'm sorry, not a pepper, an onion. You might see it in the store underneath, it looks green. What you do, you remove that skin on the outside. It's a little sticky and you have to uh, rinse them off. When you move the skin from the outside, it's gonna remind you of a green apple. I remember some time ago, my sister and I, we was in Stop and Shop, and Charmaine goes, what are those? And I go, I don't know. And we just kept on going. This was maybe about 10, 12 years ago. We had no, other, no idea what it was, but look today, I'm having them, okay? So the whole process is I have some onion, I have cilantro, I have lemon, and I have my tomatillos, and I have the serrano peppers and garlic, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is put on some gloves because those serrano peppers are very hot. They are very hot. No, I'm just joking. They're hot, but um, I need my gloves. Okay, just being a little careful today. Okay. All right, so I have my food processor because these, the Serrano's, um, 
tomatillo and the serrano is going to go inside the food processor. Food processor. I'm getting a little tongue tied. That's why, because I forgot to bring the wine to the table. That's why I'm getting all tongue tied. Duh. <laughs> But I'm coming back in the next episode. I'll make sure I have the wine. It just took a lot setting this all up. You know, I'm, I'm crazy. That's okay. All right. So the first thing I want to do is do the garlic. Now, the garlic does not have to be minced because it's going in the food processor and the food processor is going to take care of that. So I'm just going to roughly chop them. There we go. Now I'm using three. After you make this a couple of times, you'll decide how much garlic you want in yours. Okay. Here we go again. That's the second. Oh, this garlic smells good. Now, for the third one, when I took the tomatillo, I put them on a baking sheet, a cookie sheet. Cut them in half, as you can see. Cut them in half, turn them down, put a little olive oil on top, and then put them in the oven until they start getting soft, okay? What I also did, I took some garlic and just kept it in its case. And let me put this, <laughs> I'll put this here. Kept it in its case, and as you can see, the garlic turns out to be nice and smooth. Look at that. Look at that. So I'm going to take this and just squeeze a little and put in, because we already have some garlic in there, but this is a little roasted. We'll do the same. Put some in. I don't know if you had roasted garlic that you uh, put in some aluminum foil, and then you take that and you put it in your oven and cover it. And what happens, the garlic starts to get soft, it's roasted, and you are going to love it. Maybe you should try it. I told someone at Stop and Shop, one of the workers there, and she tried it and she's been doing it ever since and it's been over a year now. Okay, so, Serrano. Serrano peppers was on the tray with the tomatillos, which took about a good half an hour, but what you can do to make it faster, you can put them in the, in the oven and then turn the broiler on and that will start them. And then you'll notice on the top, not on these, but on the top, they're turning black a little because they're being charred, okay? So, I have my serrano pepper. I'm gonna open it up and look at that. Look at those seeds and let me pull. Sometimes I get gloves to fit and sometimes I don't, okay? I'm gonna take a little spoon and I'm going to remove the seeds. And see how easily that was? Look at that. Remove the seeds. Okay. There we go. I'm going to take this one. I'm just going to cut it in half. Add this to the food processor. I have another one. A scraper. Take this. Here. I have another. Take this and go. Oh yeah, and they smell good. When they're in the oven, you'll notice the, the, the smell that's coming from the peppers as well as the uh, tomatillo. Okay, here we go. Come on. I'm gonna take the seeds out of this one. Get this off. That's good. Take this. Food processor. Take this. Put it in the food processor. Scraper. Okay, you see this time I'm trying to be nice and neat because the last time I was a mess. <laughs> it happens, it happens. Let's do another one. There we go. Take this, scrape the seeds out. And there you go. Now, after you make this a couple of times, if you haven't already, it's up to you how, how much heat you want. You could use um, some jalapeno peppers if you like. But remember, 
try and take the seeds out because it is quite hot. It is intense. Okay. Let's throw this in here. Do this. Clear off my little board. Okay, there we go. Now, now that we did that part, we're good to go. All right, now, our tomatillos. We're gonna take these and we're gonna put them inside the food processor. So I go like this. Here's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, you should see the tray, you can see where, and look at this. Inside, it's all soft because of the heat. Again, here we go. This is gonna be good. If you haven't tried it before, you must try it. You are going to definitely love it. In the beginning, I didn't think I was going to, but after I tried it, I said, okay, I'm gonna have it again. Oh, we got one more. I forgot about you. Okay, so look how easy that was. Very, very easy. I could use that. Let us clean up a little. All right, now, the next part. Now that we have our tomatillos in here and we have our garlic, we need to add some onion. I took one medium onion, small onion, and I just chopped it up roughly, okay? There we go. Okay. Cilantro, approximately, I would say a half a cup, okay? And here we go. I just chopped it up roughly, and I add that. Very easy, simple. A lemon. Half of a lemon. Squeeze. Mmm. There we go. Oh, this has a lot of seeds, but it seems to be pretty juicy. Oh, this is good. Mmm-hmm. Okay. Now, I will add a little salt. Let's do this. Put that lemon there. Let's put everything here so it is nice and neat and clean. As y'all know, sometimes I'm a mess and I'm the first to admit it, but light goes on. Mm -hmm. Let's put everything here. Then later on, I can put all of this away and I won't have a problem, okay? Let me do this clean my hands. Right now I'm supposed to be taking a little sip of wine, but don't worry, I'm gonna make up for it. Okay, what I need to add now is just some salt. I'm using the two finger method and I'm doing it three times. Remember I told you you can do two fingers, three fingers, four fingers, or your palm, okay? So we got this. Let's put our cover on. Let me just get some of these seeds. And you see I had my, you see I had it and didn't use it. Cause sometimes I just use my hand when I'm at home and I just do it myself. Okay, here we go. Perfect. This is doing good. Let's take a look at it. Oh, yes. This is good. Let's do a little bit more, okay? Da. 
Ah. I'm crazy. I know it, but I'm having fun. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Okay. What I want to do is just scrape this down a little. Oh yeah. Very good. This is going to go great with our tacos and burrito. And also, mm, the tacos are going to have meat in it and cheese and onion and cilantro. And, and the burrito is going to have the same. Burrito is going to be what's left over, including some rice and refried beans to die for. Hold on. <laughs> Okay, I think we are just about there. Let's do this. Set. Let's set this here for the time being. Woo! Let me see. Mm. Oh. To die for, as Deborah would say. This is delicious. It has a little heat because it's serrano peppers. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this out. Take this. You know, I'm always forgetting something, right? Here we go. That's why I have this little rack here because I can find just about everything I need. Okay. So let's get this like this and set this here. <clears throat> We're going to take this off, move this, and I'm right handed, so that's why I'm doing it like this. I'm going to take this and we're going to add it to this. Oh. oh, yeah, this looks good. Okay. All right. So, here we go. This is our sauce that we are going to use later on, which is going to go on our taco and also on our burrito. And look at that. It looks beautiful. We made our tomatillo earlier with the serrano pepper as you can see it is here and it's really good trust me this is really good because we're going to use that later on and that's going to be part of the filling for the taco and burritos that we'll be making later on but right now now they're going to be two different types of tacos one is going to be with beef and the other is going to be with chicken that's for me. I love chicken. Okay, so my pan is hot, but see, I didn't forget. I didn't forget the wine. So here we go. Let me, oh, Domaine de la Riviere, and this is the rosé. And let me just pour a little in my little fancy glass. That was a birthday gift. Oh, I'm starting to smell. This is getting a little hot and it'll be popping all over the place. Here's to you. Mm. Oh, very good. First, I need an onion. Okay. Mm. Now, the onion doesn't have to be diced small. We can just leave it in nice little chunks. So don't worry about cutting skills on this. Okay. Put this down as I Trim off some of this, throw this away, mm. and I'm just going to cut it just like this. 
no special way. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> that was that serrano um, pepper in there that really got to me. If you notice earlier, <laughs> when I went and sampled it, did you see the expression on my face? Because those serrano peppers, are, they could be a little hot and they will get to you, okay? <laughs> I had to laugh myself. I said, oh my goodness, this is going to tear me up. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Now, we're going to let these onion cook down a little. Not too much, just a little. Like this. And this part is really quick. It does not take long. We're gonna add just a little salt to it. There we go. That will bring out some of the flavor. And some pepper. You like pepper? I do. I like spicy, but not that spicy. That was really, that was, that was really over the hill. I was like, oh my God goodness <laughs> but it's oh this is starting to smell wonderful these onions really nice yeah now my pan isn't very very hot actually I have it a little above low and this is one of those electric stoves so it, it varies a little different okay all right, so now that we got that, I'm going to start adding my beef so it can all come together. Just a little piece there. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Now I need to turn it up. As you know, when if your pan is hot and you add things to it, the temperature uh, goes down a little. So I'm going to turn this up so it really can get cooking really good. Oh yeah, this is going to be wonderful. The, the beef is starting on one side to brown. Let's add just a little bit more salt because the cameraman is eating this and he loves salt and pepper. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I think this is gonna have to come up a little bit higher. So this really starts to cook. And then what we're going to do, now while that temperature rises a little, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add R.L. Schreiber. This is a premium beef base okay i'm going to add this to the pan and that's going to additionally give it some flavor okay rl schreiber has lots and lots and lots of bases and all other products that i'm sure that you will love if you try to go out there and get some okay if you contact me i can get you in touch with rl schreiber and as you know i use their what roasted garlic pepper now you see me use this all the time and I'm going to add just a pinch to that. There we go. Look at that. You see it? Looking good. Looking really good. And I'm going to squeeze it between my fingers to get some of the flavor. So it could burst. You know what I'm talking about. So it could really burst. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Robert and Janie, for your support with your products. Wonderful. There you go. Let's see how this is doing. Oh yeah. Now it's starting to do its thing because I turned the heat up and it smells really good. Really good. Yeah. Okay. Now in a couple of minutes, I will add the base. Then I'm going to add the tomatillo sauce to this and just let it cook all into the beef. Um, that's the way it's done in Mexico. We do tacos here a little different than they do in Mexico. 
we add a lot of ingredients to it, but in Mexico, they do not, okay? They have the beef, they might have some onion and the tomatillo, and that's good enough for them. Whoo, look at this. Doesn't that look good? Wow, really good. Okay, so let's see how the beef is coming along and the onions. Oh yeah, and the sauce is going to help cook it, okay? And then after this, then we come back and then I'll start doing the chicken. And then after that, we're gonna put it all together and we are going to have a party. How about that? Mmm. Mmm. I did not have wine the other episode. No, I'm not trying to make up. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put just a pinch of the broth paste to help give it some, oh, yeah, to help give it some flavor. There we go. Okay. Oh, look at that. Even though I don't eat meat, but it sure does smell good. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, I give this another 30 seconds or so because I don't want to overcook the beef and then it gets all tough. And the cameraman will be like, <laughs> right? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, this is good. It looks good. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Now, the next step is to add the tomatillo. Okay. I'm going to add this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Let's see. That's just about half of what I made. Oh, boy. Could you imagine what it must be like in, in Mexico when they make all of these fabulous dishes, the herbs and the spices they add to them? That must be really rewarding. Really rewarding and delicious. Yeah. Now, of course, the heat went down a little because I added something to the pan, but it will come back up. Oh, this is going to be great. Yeah, yeah, that's going to be great. Wow. I hope you try and make it one day because it is so simple and it's all done in steps. So there's nothing wrong with that. Okay. And now it's, the heat is coming back up, and this is to you. Great. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> this smells good. <laughs> surprise. Surprise. Okay. While this finishes off, we are going to take a break, and I'll be right back because next is the chicken part of our tortillo, serrano pepper, and we'll make the taco after that and the burrito. Stay right there. I'll be right back. Enjoy an afternoon or evening after work at Paulie's Brick House on Restaurant Row in Jersey City Heights. With your selection of specialized pizzas, you can accompany them with a cold beer or even a cocktail. Open daily from 4 p.m. until 2 a.m. with every other Friday featuring live entertainment. As cool temperatures are upon us, the first thing I think of is soup season and one pot meal. R.L. Schreiber products are the perfect way to start your home style recipes this season. With such a wide selection of concentrated stocks, chili peppers, and flavor-based products, let R.L. Schreiber be the beginning of your end result.
Okay, I'm back. Well, we did a tomatillo and mixed with the serrano. And once again, we're doing tacos. We already created the beef. We cooked the beef and we added the tomatillo to it. And that's put aside, okay? Now, this part is going to be for the chicken, which is for me, okay? So, here we go. Mm. Let's turn this down a little. There we go. So, those are the onions. Let that work on itself as I work on the wine. Okay, here we go. We're doing a rosé from Domaine de la Riviere. And this is 2018. I almost forgot. Maybe I had too much wine? No, I'm just joking. Okay, so let me have a sip of wine. Mmm. This is good because it's light, the rosé. It's really light. Okay, so our onions are sautéing. And we just want them a little translucent. I'm going to add just a pinch of salt for me. Some roasted garlic pepper. There we go. Which I love. There we go. Oops. Look, I'm going to knock it over, right? Okay. So, let's get this started. Da, da, cooking at home. It's been a long day. I got up at 8 o'clock this morning. I had to run out to the store and get some more, some more food. I went down to a local supermarket. Not stop and chop another one. And that shelves was full of food. I could not believe it. I was able to get two packages of chicken wings. I got steak. What else did I get? Oh, I got some chops for the cameraman. And I got some other things. I was amazed. It was so much food in there. It's one of those supermarkets that's kept real quiet. It's um, owned by, I believe, um, Latino, Latino, or maybe Dominican. But they have some great stuff. I think if you look on my webpage, on one of them, I put some pictures up to show how much product they had. Whereas some of the other supermarkets, they don't have a thing. Nothing. Empty. Totally. I was glad. I took my time and there was no line. I mean, there was like seven people online. And this is 11.30 in the morning, 12 o'clock, something like that. I was really surprised. Really. Okay. So here we go. Make sure my flame is... Flame, you hear me, Flame? <laughs> Make sure the heat is turned up. I'm so used to cooking on the stove, and that's um, a flame stove, not electric, and this is electric. So, you know, you tend to get a little mixed up, like me, okay? <laughs> Y'all know I'm crazy. I'm just having a good old time. No matter what the conditions are that we have to deal with today, I'm just having a good time. Okay, so I have this up. And that's going to, the heat is going to rise on this. Let me see. Do this a little bit. And then I'm going to add some, to my dish, I'm going to add some julienne sweet peppers. Okay, I have the red and I have the orange. I'm going to add that to my dish. And then I'm adding R.L. Schreiber's, and this is the premium chicken base. I'm going to add this to mine, whereas for the beef, I use this premium beef base. Then I'm going to add just a little of the tomatillo. I like it spicy, but let me tell you, that is spicy. Did you see the, the look on my face on the last episode when I tried it? I was like, oh. <laughs> that was that was a bit much. Let me use... Let me use these prongs. That'll be better. See, now the flame is coming up and it's going to cook this down. 
and then we're gonna get those tacos out and um, make the burrito with all nice little filling. Yeah, okay, this looks good. So what I wanna do, I want some of this base. Okay, as you can see, I've been using it because it's that good. Okay, just gonna add just a little base to it. And that will give it a little flavor beyond what it already has. Put that there. Okay. And let's get this base started. The flavoring is really good. Trust me on this. Trust me. Now look at that. You see? The chicken is starting to turn because that means it is what? It is cooking. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is really, really good. Thanks to um, me going to Hudson County Community College for culinary arts. And it helped me a lot because I actually, I, I have been cooking all of my life and having parties here at home. Some of you have come to them. And I wanted to just to go and extend it and um, become a little bit more educated, you know, when it came to um, culinary skills. Uh, the school is really, really great. I think it's number six in the country for culinary. It's not, it's not necessarily the big name of the college that you might go to for culinary arts. It's what you get out of it. And I got a lot out of Hudson Community College. I really did. The chef, Chef O'Malley, I mean, all of them were really, really, really helpful. They pushed you and they made sure that you learned. You just don't cook, but you learn other arts. You learn about food. You, you learn about food and beverages. All of that stuff is included in the course. And you can do it in two and a half years. You can do it in two years. I took, I think I took about two and a half years because I wasn't rushing. I said, I'm not rushing this. I'm going to take my time and learn everything. Now, some students, what they do, they take all of their liberal arts, which is, they give you basic math, basic, um, basic math, basic algebra, et cetera, et cetera. A little bit of history. Um, if it's part of your, the program, some people just go there and they just have the culinary arts, whereas some do um, hospitality. And all of that is included because it gives you a base. This is what you want. You just don't want to come out of a college and learn how to cook. You want other pieces to be a part of your program. If you just want to learn how to cook, then you can go to some place where it's just you get a certificate for cooking. But when you come out and you're interested in the industry to work in a restaurant, chances are if you go for a job and the person next to you has a certificate and you have an associate's degree, who gets the job? Should I say more? You. Okay. And it's a lot of fun. It really is a lot of, oh, look at that. Oh, this looks good. Oh, I'm going to throw down again. Okay. So we have this. I'm going to add my Julian sweet peppers. Now, I don't have on gloves this time because I'm not touching the chicken. So, I'm paying attention. <laughs> I'm sure you, oops, I'm sure you are. There we go. Now, look at the color. Oh, my goodness. This is going to be delicious. Delicious. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. Now, I have this rolling. Excuse me. I have this rolling. So I'm going to add just a little bit of the tomatillo. Let me tell you, it is spicy. <laughs> I like spicy because I like jerk chicken, you know, but this will knock your socks off. But it's all about flavor, right? Okay. Let's, oops. There we go. Let's do this again. Mix it. Oh, it smells 
really, really good. I'm I'm not joking. This smells great. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And look, it's made a nice little sauce. Oh wow. I wish you was here to smell this. So you'd be saying, Renee, hey, hurry up, I want something. Actually, a friend of mine, Deborah, we went to Hudson together and she said she was gonna be in the neighborhood and she was gonna stop by because she knew I was cooking. Now, I don't know what happened to her, but I'm gonna call her up. Where were you, Deborah? She goes, oh, mm -hmm. I'm gonna send you a picture of what I made. <laughs> She's gonna say, really? I should've came by. I told you to come by. Oh my goodness, oh, look at this. Oh, it made such a nice sauce, which is well needed. Okay, so this is looking good. Let me have a sip of wine. Mm. And I'm going to let this finish cook because, you know, we want the chicken to be cooked thoroughly. We do not, it's not like um, beef where some people like it rare. No, we don't want the chicken to be rare. And I'm using chicken breast, by the way, which cooks pretty fast, okay? All right, so I'm gonna let this here cook a little bit more. And when I come back, what are we gonna do? We're gonna put this all together and make it as one, okay? So, Don't go nowhere. I'll see you in a minute. Now we're gonna put everything together. We have beef that was cooked in the tomatillo sauce. Um, we have some onion here with mixed with cilantro, and that's going to be for the taco. Now in Mexico, their tacos are different from ours. We have lettuce, we have cheese, we have this, we have that. But all they have is their beef, or may, maybe pork, and onion, and cilantro. So we're going to start off making what? We're going to start off making the burrito. But first, I have a little sip of wine. Domain Della Riviera, and the bottle is going. <laughs> well, you know, I've been here all afternoon cooking, and I enjoy it so much, and I thank you for, for watching the show. Mm. Okay, so the burrito first, I'm gonna take, take the, and put it inside the pan. The pan is nice and hot, and you want it to get a little warm, and then what happens, it's gonna start puffing up a little bit. So let me turn this up a little bit more. So in the burrito, which is for me, I have refried beans. I have some pepper jack cheese. I have some pickle. I have um, some rice that I did. That is a red rice. And I have chicken. And I'm gonna put a little um, onion and cilantro and I have some sour cream. Now, looking here, oh, here it is. It's starting to rise. Oh, look at the color on the other side. This is what we want. This is, that's the look, okay? So, in the meantime, I bought these taco holders and they're really nice. They're stainless steel and they hold two. If you put them together this way, you'll be able to get more, but for this evening, we're just gonna put one, two, three, four, okay? These are really nice and they're stainless steel and they are not expensive. Look at this, look at that, isn't that nice? Okay, so let's start building. Now, I'm just gonna put a little here and then what's gonna happen, I'm gonna roll, fold, and then roll again, okay? So I'm going to start mine off with, hmm, what should I do? I think I'm going to do a little rice at the bottom. Not too much because I have other things going with it. 
Okay, I'm gonna add some chicken. Just a little chicken, just a little bit. And then once it's left over, I can have that for tomorrow. I can make some more burritos, okay? And in here, there is a little sauce from the Tom Tomantillo sauce that I made, Tio. Okay, now I have this. I want a little refried bean, just a little. There we go. I love refried beans. They are so good. Okay, so as you see, we're building. Um, I want a little cheese. Just a little cheese. Just a little bit. A little bit. You can have as much cheese as you like. Then I'm going to have some onion and cilantro. Wow, this is going to be good. A meal in itself. Then I'm going to have a little bit of sour cream right on top. That's going to be filling. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. I'm going to fold and roll. Then I'm going to take the end. I'm going to turn that in. I'm going to turn this end in. And then I'm going to roll it again. There we go. And look at that. Now, you can get them really large if you like, but this is just a small one. Okay, so I'm going to take this here. Wipe my hand. And in the meantime, here we go. I'm going to put one for our taco, two in the pan. And let that get started. And then we're going to do it the way they make it in Mexico, in which they just use the tomatillo and they use the onion and cilantro. So while that's doing, I'm going to have another sip of wine. Mm. And let me tell you, this sauce is kicking. I don't know if you noticed when I was sampling it in the last episode, I was like, oh... I mean, it really got to me. It really got to me, but it was good. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let's turn this. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Maybe I should have put one in at a, at a time, and that would have worked a little better. Oh, yeah. There we go. And like I said, when they're inside, what you're going to see in the pan, you're going to see it's going to start to puff. And then when you look on the other side, it's going to start to brown. There is nothing in the pan. This is a, um, this pan is stick free. Okay, let's do it a little bit more. I think the flame is a little, the flame, you hear me once again. It's not the flame. Okay. It's, um, it's electric, so the heat is just coming up. So we're going to do this. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This will work. I'm going to take another one. While we build this, we have the other one in the pan. And I'm going to take this, and we're going to place it right in here. As such. See that? Doesn't that work well? And it'll keep the shape. Okay. Let's see. Oh, yeah. We have another one. Let's do this, put this in. You can keep these in the pan as long as you like. That's left up to you. There we go. Look at that. Aren't these nice, these little um, holders? Oops. Actually, I got it on um, Amazon. So while that's doing that, let's fill this. Put this here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Mm. This is for the cameraman. <laughs> he is watching very carefully. <laughs> there we go. There's another one. 
Okay, this is another one. We want some of the beef in it. There we go. Okay. Then, let me check this one. I don't want it to actually, oh yeah, that's working very well. And then I'm going to take the onion and cilantro. I think he is going to love this, right? <laughs> He's going to love it. That's good. All right, here we go for another one. We're going to put this here. And we're going to have one more. Oops, here. This, I'm going to add some refried beans. And there. Add a little cheese. Uh, there we go. A little rice, just a little bit. Mm, mm, mm. Throwing down tonight. Yeah. And I'm going to add just a little chicken. Oh, boy. Y'all probably going, mmm. <laughs> that looks good. All right. Let's check this. Okay. And on that side, a little sour cream on this one. A double will do it. Look at this. This looks really great. Pinch of cheese. Wow. Really nice. While that one takes place, I'm going to have another sip of wine. Mmm. Really nice. Let's check this one. Let's move it around and this Pam. These are so good. It just holds them perfectly. Put this one in here. Oh, yeah. Forgot we can put a piece of lemon or lime. Whatever you prefer. Okay. Wipe my ham. I can turn this off. Because this little heater gets very hot. Okay, I'll put this. Mm -hmm. A little cheese. There we go. Now see, the American way is adding a lot of different ingredients. And like I said, in Mexico, they don't do that. They just have the, um, the beef. Oops. And that's good. Um, let's add some chicken. Oh, this has some of the sauce. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Okay. Sour cream. Yeah. A little dollop of sour cream. Mmm. Wow, that is looking really good. Only thing I'm missing is. A little pickle wine. There we go. Mm hmm. And these pickles have pickled onion. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oops. Okay. And just a sprinkle. Just a sprinkle. Now, if you look, you see the difference between the way that we make it here in the states and it's made in um in mexico there is a difference like i said they take the beef or and most of the time it's beef it's not um pork but if so they have that they have the onion and they have the cilantro and that is it when it came here um to the united states or through texas um they started adding different elements to it and people seem to like it and they still do and there's nothing wrong with making it the way that we make it. Okay, but like I said, that's the original. Wow, 
am. Here is my burrito. Let me wipe my hands. And I'm going to cut into this. Mm. And here we are. Here is the burrito. Got a little messy here. Let's clean this off. Mm. Clean this. Move this away. And clean up so it will look nice. There we go. Now this burrito is small. It's not one of those gigantic ones. Um, plus also I have the two tacos, so that's going to work. Well, here you are, folks. I thank you very much for stopping by and watching the show. It was a long one. We did a lot of work here, but at the end of the day, when it's time to have dinner, we love it. Okay. When I got finished, the cameraman going to jump on this. <laughs> I know. I see him over there with his camera going like this. Well, thank you, folks. Mm. And here's to you. And don't forget, In the Kitchen with Chef Renee is on every Saturday night from 8 to 9 p.m. on Comcast, New Jersey, on station 190. If you have friends who do not have Comcast, what they can do is go to my website, chefrenehewitt.com, and there is listed all of the shows on demand. They just click and they can watch the show. Thank you again. Be safe. And until the next time, bye. Come to Hudson County Community College for courses that transfer to four-year schools and provide credentials for in-demand careers. They're the newest technologies and facilities anywhere and caring professors and staff to help me succeed. A great education and full campus life. All for a fraction of the cost of most four-year schools. Hudson County Community College. Close to home. Affordable. High quality. Life-changing. Register now. Enjoy an afternoon or evening after work at Paulie's Brick House on Restaurant Row in Jersey City Heights. With your selection of specialized pizzas, you can accompany them with a cold beer or even a cocktail. Open daily from 4 p.m. until 2 a.m. with every other Friday featuring live entertainment.